Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to generate some PowerShell scripts and eventually put it into a one-liner so you can run it right from the command prompt. But first, I just want to show you a simple script that we're going to make in PowerShell with ChatGPT. It's generating the code here, as you can see, and we're going to put this into a PS1 file, which can be annoying if you're doing simple tasks. So you can see here, it's finishing up the code, giving us a description, and now I think we're in good shape. We can go ahead and copy this code. We're gonna put it into a text file. By the way, for those of you that are new to PowerShell, it comes with Windows, so uh, pretty easy to find. You know, just type in PowerShell in the search box. All right, let's go ahead and open a text file. We're gonna paste this in here, and we're just gonna go to File, Save As. Go ahead and name it whatever you want to and make sure you save it. Save as file type, all types. And there we go. We're going to close that. We can go ahead and run this now. So right click, go to run with PowerShell. And you can see in the background, boom, all those folders appeared. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. That's creating the PS1 file. A couple steps there, but that's okay. Okay. Now let's do this a one liner way. So let's get rid of these folders here and delete. Hit yes. Okay. Now let's go back here and we're going to say that, hey, we don't want to make a PS1 file. We want to run this as a one liner that we can run from the command prompt in PowerShell. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. I'm fast forwarding this a little bit so it's a little bit quicker. And now it's generating a one liner for us. Okay. We're going to go ahead and copy this one liner. We're going to put this into PowerShell. And by the way, for those that use the command line, the regular one for Windows or Linux or Mac, you can also create one liners and put it right in the command prompt as well, just like this. So we're going to put this down there. We're going to put in control V to paste in the one liner. That's a huge one liner, but it is a one liner. And now you can see in the background that we got the 10 folders. So there we go. We don't have to create a PS1 file for that. Uh, it can be a little bit quicker that way. You know, it just depends on if you're going to be doing this a lot or just one time. For something like this, you'd probably just do it one time. Anyways, if you found the video useful, please like and let me know in the comments what you found useful about this or if you have any other future recommendations. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you watching and have a good one.